Hey, pal families, it's Mr. Cram, your play and ingenuity man, with your play message for Wednesday. It's for first graders. I've got these science standards behind me, and I've paraphrased them, but in short, what they say is first graders need to be able to understand the patterns of day and night and observe uh, the objects that move across the sky, the sun and the moon. So to do that this week, you have a sundial project, and all that means is you're going to take an object that stands up uh, something large would be great. If you have a Pringles can, something along those lines, uh, you're going to want to be able to take this and put it back down day to day in the exact same spot. So maybe where sidewalk meets that crack, put it down in the exact same spot every single day, uh, sometime between morning and night, and create with your child little rocks. Now, I've made a three o'clock rock, and at three o'clock, maybe a minute beforehand, I take my child out and then put this three o'clock rock exactly where that shadow is pointing. And the more rocks you can do throughout the day, the better. If you only have two, that's awesome too. Because what I want them to see day to day is the reliability of the sun's shadow being cast. And the sun moves the exact same way pretty much every single day. Slight changes, of course. But, you know, this is how people used to tell time. It was that reliable. And I want them to see that pattern. If they do that, they've accomplished this. But, little standard down here, observing changes in the moon. Um, if the internet is to be believed, the 26th is going to be what's called a new moon, which means no moon. It's like, it's like dark. I mean, it's there. We just can't see it. And the 27th, I think we're going to get small sliver. It's going to be a waxing moon. And if they could draw that, that would be amazing. Come out the next day, see if they can find it. That waxing moon is going to grow a little bit every single day. And if they can observe that, it's fantastic. Have a neat conversation about the lunar cycle, about months being about 30 days, because that's how long it takes for the moon to wax and then wane. So anyways, if you can do the sundial, if you can do a few observations of the moon, you've actually accomplished quite a bit, and I thank you for that. Uh, it should be a pretty fun project, and um, that's what I have for you this week. Have a wonderful holiday. I'm sure you all have earned it, and I will look forward to seeing uh, you guys not this coming week. There won't be a video, but the week after. So thank you again for all you do, and if you need anything, please let me know. Take care.